The gel group is a spectacular expanse of mountains separated by some beautiful alpine moors, tarns and dense scrub. Located just west of Lake St. Clair in the midwest of Tasmania, we spent four days tackling the circuit including summits of Mount Hugel, the Shane Range, Mount Gel and the Hippogriff. The bulk of this hike is trackless, is challenging and should only be attempted by experienced hikers with sound navigational experience. Yeah, after an hour and a half of walking, we've made it to uh, Shadow Lake. So yeah, we'll have a good break here and probably have a morning snack and just, uh, yeah, relax for a bit. But uh, yeah, check this out. Nice views of uh, Hugel starting up here from behind the clouds up there. Yeah, hopefully when we get up on the plateau, we'll have fully cleared so we can mark off that able. Just climbing up a little hugel now, but check out the view down there too. I think it's Forgotten Lake. It's crystal clear. There yeah, we'll be heading up here and then across the ridge over to Mount Hugel. Firstly, see so yeah, looking forward to getting up there. It's just a beautiful day. I think this is going to be our lunch spot. Gorgeous tarn up here on the Hugo Plateau. Yeah. Making good time. We've been walking for three and a half hours. Right, we're just climbing up onto this saddle and the views have opened up out to the Duquesne range. Such a amazing vista of mountains. So many good ables to climb out there. All right, we just dropped our packs. Now we're heading up to Hugel. First able of the trip. Let's get it. That's the summit, Mount Hugel. First stable, gel circuit. Mount Hugel, 1,403 meters. Yeah, we've got a long way back down to our packs and then from there we're gonna drop down this ridge to that lake and that's our campsite tonight. So yeah. Looking forward to uh, getting down there and probably going for a swim, so yeah. Alright, we're back at our bags. It was about two hours return from Hugel. It definitely um, takes longer than what it looks, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, now we're going to head up this little knoll and then we've got a pretty much two hour descent through scrub down to Lake Hermon, where we're going to set up camp tonight. So. Yeah, um, it's four o'clock now, so it should be down at camp around six. Yeah, tough work, especially at the end of the day. When you're exhausted, you're thirsty, and you want to rest. 
Yeah, we'll get down there eventually. So yeah, we made it to camp after grueling nine hours of walking. Yeah, I really am buggered. It was a hard day, but tomorrow's gonna be gorgeous weather as we hit the Shane Range high point and then move over to jail and hopefully camp up there. But yeah, I definitely need some rest, so I'm gonna sleep and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Hey, hey, good morning. It's another beautiful day out on the range today. It's gonna be Specky, clear blue skies. But yeah, I got another big day today. Probably expecting seven to eight hours at least. But yeah, from here we're gonna trek on up towards the Shane Range High Point, and from there we're gonna traverse over to Mount Joe. But yeah, here comes the sun. A gorgeous morning, and we're just starting to make the pack up now. <sighs> yeah. Looking forward to getting moving. It's going to be a tricky day. Uh, the walking is really nice now, we're up on these slabs and the views have opened up to got good sugarloaf out there across the range. I think that's Mount Gould out there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, we're just slowly making our way up towards the top of the Shane Range up there. And that's the summit of the Shane Range. Yeah, hurry up. One, <laughs> two, three. Let's destroy the camp. <laughs> Absolute incredible day. Got Mount Gel out there, over to um, Frenchman's Cap, over to uh, like Mount Owen and the Tyndalls out there, um, the Eldons, Dome Hill. But yeah, just bloody incredible up here. It's been hard work so far, a lot harder than any of us expected. Um, it's pretty much no tracks, so you're just pushing through low to uh, medium scrub all day. But yeah, we've got a, still got a long way to get up to Mount Gel for our campsite tonight, so we're just going to have lunch and then uh, we'll get moving. But yeah, what an awesome spot here. Another Able. Right, we're just heading down towards the really scrubby saddle now. It does look pretty awful. I don't think any of us are really looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, apparently Lucas is really excited, so.
Right, we made it to this rock outcrop. And yeah, that's the scrub we just came down. That was tough. Not recommend it, but yeah. Looks like it's gonna be much easier going on the other side. We're all running pretty low on water, so we're hoping we'll find something up there. Otherwise, we'll have to drop down to the big tarn to collect some. But yeah, glad that's over. That was, brutal. yeah, pretty so brutal. Much. All right. Uh, it's been a big day, over 10 hours of walking. We pulled up a little short of Mount Gel, about 800 meters or so. But yeah, we're all pretty buggered, so we're gonna set up here. Got nice views out to Rufus and Hugo. And yeah, should catch a really nice sunrise in the morning. So yeah, keen to get the tent set up and uh, have a rest because I'm very fatigued. Cooking some uh, strive garlic mushroom and thyme curry. Pretty keen to eat. So yeah, today's hike was really tough but to come out here and be rewarded with views like this just makes it all so worth it but yeah just absolutely stunning thank you tazzy Going to bed. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's cold and we've woken up to pretty cloudy conditions. There's a sunrise for you. Right, we're all packed up now, so it's pretty much time to get going. We're gonna go for the summer of gel and then we'll descend down to Australia Town and up to the Hippogriff. Uh, yeah, should be another big day today. Especially given that tonight the winds are forecast to be 75 kilometers an hour, so we may look at exiting the range back to the car. on our way to gel we've actually got a pad for once which is actually really nice but uh awesome views out there to frenchman's cap and yeah probably about 500 meters from the summit of gel now getting close That's the summit of Mount Gel.
summit of a hippogriff. Right, standing on top of the hippogriff. It's been another challenging day as we uh, come from the top of Mount Gel up there all the way down past Australia Tarn through Scrub and up here. And we've been walking for about uh, six and a half hours so far today, so it's definitely been another long day. But yeah, the views up here are pretty darn special, especially for such a low peak. I think it's only over 1,100 meters. But yeah, you got Hugel up there, which is where we started, all the way into the Duquesne Range, Tuni Mountains, the name, Chain Range, Mount Gel, Frenchman Group, and out there to the King William Range. But yeah, bloody awesome. Really happy to bag another one. All right, got camp set up. We uh, ended up deciding to uh, set up camp between uh, the Hippogriff and the Chimera. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it just started pouring. So I think we'll be dead 10 pound for the rest of the night, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's gonna be pretty wet. So yeah, that's the end of day three. It was another big day as we uh, went up to Mount Gel, descended down to Australia Tarn, up to the Hippogriff, and now we're in the saddle between the Hippogriff and the Chimera. Um, tomorrow we're gonna descend off the ridge down to Lake Dixon, and then back to the car and Rufus Canal Road. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really great trip, um, pretty tough work, lots of scrub, but uh, we got to see some amazing views and tick off a couple more ables. Yeah, pretty much packed up, ready to go. The wind's absolutely crazy still, as you can see. Um, yeah, just waiting on the other lads to uh, finish packing up and then um, we'll take the tent down and get out of here. So after another four hour slog this morning, down a steep ridge, and then long button grass, we've finally arisen to the car. That's a gel circuit complete after 43 and a half kilometers. <sighs> yeah, feels bloody good to be back at the car. Apologies about the lack of footage. It was really tough work filming in that sort of terrain, but uh, Hope you enjoyed it and uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers.